It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Steelers and the Silver and Black. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Just west of the world-famous Las Vegas Strip, we're at the side of Super Bowl 58, Allegiant Stadium, here in Las Vegas. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football, and you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense, we're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another, and I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off-seasons. A lot of times, they're friends, but come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights coming this off-season. The kicker, Daniel Carlson, has this one teed up. And off we go from Bates. On the return, here comes Cordero Patterson. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense ready to take the field for the first time. They'll be led out by the man from Ohio State, six foot three, Justin Fields. A lot of guys love sitting here, Mike, and nitpicking his game. And I, I would agree, some of it is fair criticism. But there's one thing you can't deny. This guy is electric with the ball in his hands. One of the best open field runners, regardless of position, in the entire league. But for him to take the next step and develop as a quarterback, he needs to match that arsenal that he has with his legs and develop a little bit more in the traditional passing game with his arm. If he's able to do that, they're not only going to have a chance to win here today, but they're going to win for a long time in the future. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have an internal clock in their head. How does my protection match up with the rush and the route concept I'm trying to attack downfield? In this case, he's looking downfield, realizes quickly this ball's got to come out, checks it down to his underneath drag, picks up what he can. That'll be caught by the running back one. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Fields now to throw on first down. A toss, left side, caught by his running back. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. That's already two catches for this guy. We haven't even seen him hand the ball to him yet. And that's really what these running backs have become in the league. They're really just all-around weapons. And if the ground game's not working, you can go to the air and vice versa. The more times this guy touches the ball, the better it is for this offense. They'll come up here first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time, and it'll set up second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Fields from the gun on third down. He'll try and get there on the ground. A oh, strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on a big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. Let's give some love to the big guys up front here, Mike. The offensive line is looking good here early to start the game. 
couple nice big explosive runs. Expect them to continue to lean on the big guys up front as the rest of this game unfolds. On first down, right back to Harris. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. to be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Chris Boswell on for the point after. He knocks it through. And the Steelers will take a 7-0 lead. set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. Don't let this guy's laid-back personality fool you, Mike. He is a tremendous presence to have in your quarterback room. Not only does he have the ability to manage the game at a high level, but your team has a legitimate chance to beat anyone in the league whenever he's under center. Now, I don't know if I'd classify him as a long-term solution, but he's certainly someone every franchise they would love to have. And a good run there. Gonna get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll go again with White. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Larry Ogunjobi with the tackle for the defense. They'll come up to third and three. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. Fourth down, last year's All-Pro punter A.J. Cole on now for the Raiders. Calvin Austin, deep for the Steelers. Now, fair catch is made, and it's just inside the 15-yard line. The Steelers' offense ready to get going with their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive, so try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. begins with a run by Harris. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. A 
A good spot here, second and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Fields. This one grabbed by Austin. And he gets run out of bounds, a short pickup, but it's good enough for a first down. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. defensive ends to rush to the X. The X is the spot where the quarterback stops his drop, and you can see when he hit that back foot, he had nowhere to go, and he's able to bring him down for a big sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Fields to throw. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by the the Diablo. Nothing the defense loves more, Greg, than the opportunity to not only stop a team, but turn them back around the other way. A touchdown on the pick six. Yeah, the defense just loves getting their hands on the ball when they can, Mike, but it is extra special when they're able to capitalize and take it all the way back for six. These are the ones that rip your heart out on the offensive side. Daniel Carlson on to attempt the extra point. It's up and through. And the Raiders will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. Seven apiece, and the kick's away. Patterson now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Steelers' offense ready to get back at it. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. forward for a couple. Divine Diablo there to make the play. Second down and eight. Here's Fields. He'll get that complete. It's George Pickett. 13 yards on the catch there. That's a Steeler first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in first down. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Hook him up on a second down and eight. He'll give it to Harris again. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside.
What can they do here on third down and seven? To throw is Fields. Going Down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down. In motion is Myers. Quick throw here is complete. He's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. On the ground, it's White. Strong running there, pushing his way forward to gain a couple. to get it to the 30. Here comes third down. Here's Minshew. I oh, gets that one complete to his tight end Bowers. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Back to back three and outs and not ideal to start the game in that manner. So that's a really important throw right there. Let's see if they can build something from there. Brings up first and 10. Continue to let your opening script unfold. You got to go down and find some points here and get your offense settled down. First and 10. On the give, it's White. And they move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And a nice pick up there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. He'll tuck it and take it off. And he will slide to a halt with a penalty marker down on the play. So let's check out this call. They get the big tackle out of UCLA. Colton Miller there. Working out of the gun. It's Minshew. Over the middle. That's the tight end, Bowers. And he'll be taken down. That's a pickup of 18. And will set up a very manageable second and two. How fast things can flip. You find yourself in first and a mile after taking a penalty on first down. But that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Weed. Those simple routes over the middle, Mike. Well, to the quarterback, they're not always so simple. I'll tell you what. There's a lot of bodies in the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. Those windows are hard to navigate the ball through safely. So what happens? Well, you saw it there. It's a prime area for throws to be intercepted. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Throwing 
is Fields. Got a man over the middle. It's Pickering. Second and a yard. Now, Fields. And that will be incomplete. They could not hook up on what will be the final play of this first quarter. called and he's going to take it out beyond the 25 yard line the Raiders offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession they'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten now with Minshew and that one knocked away it's incomplete the whole idea of the play action pass Mike is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield but in this case they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around that ball needed to come out there was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion Must be scary time for a player. Not that it happened to you often, but he lost the ball but was able to get it back and avoid the turnover. Well, Mike, I hate to admit it, but unfortunately, I was in that situation <laughs> a few times. And I'll tell you what, when that ball pops out of your hand, the only thing on your mind is, is there anything I can do to get it back? In this case, he was able to get it back, and he got the ball. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Now gives Mighty Gun. It's Madison. He'll take this for a couple, but the official signal, he has enough first down. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. In motion is Myers. They'll stick with Madison. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy, but if you could have two or three that could all come in and contribute on the ground, that's the goal, and we're seeing it here. 
Again, it's Madison. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. They put Adams in motion. The shotgun, a throw from Inchi. Was brought down, that pass is gonna pick up four and bring up third down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On third down, it's White. Well, we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to them, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. The field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. He'll go. It's right. And he's going to have the Raiders first down as he pushes forward for a couple on fourth and inches. This play should always end up converting a fourth down, especially at this distance. But you can't tell me there weren't some nerves on that sideline as they sent that play in to snap it. But fortunately, nothing to worry about. The offense gets it done. In motion is Myers. Pitch you now to throw on first and ten. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Throwing on second down is Minshew. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. From the gun, here's Minshew. Oh, this pass was dialed in right now. They get him again. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection how can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. On fourth down, on comes Daniel Carlson for the Raiders' field goal. Spot at the 45. This is a 55-yard attempt. And he pushed it. No good. That is wide to the right. And the score remains tied at seven. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Run. This is Jalen Warren. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Back to throw is Fields. And that one is complete along the boundary. Good job of getting those feet in back. 
This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. That's the former Rams and Falcon, Van Jefferson. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Complete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He was looking for George Pickens there. And it'll bring up second down. A give. And here comes Harris. And he stepped up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. On third down, they'll set up to throw. And he's in. Justin Fields. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The extra point is Boswell. He's got it. And the Steelers will move out to a 14 to 7 lead. possession they trail out 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10 now Minshew Complete. 
They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Third and five. He'll try and throw with Minshew. And that is incomplete. The biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. At sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. Question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure... That return was not going anywhere. The Steelers' offense and running back Najee Harris getting set to take over once more. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. to the 37 yard line the Steelers are going to use one of their timeouts and they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half line of scrimmage is the 37 yard line for first and 10 Working out of the gun, it's Fields. He runs with it. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. He'll run again. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Now Pittsburgh will bang a timeout here. That's their second. Clock says 25 seconds till halftime. First half, Fields. And they'll finally run him down, but he takes it inside the 10-yard line. They get 24 on that one. And just like that, it's first and goal. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. Here comes Chris Boswell to try a field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers build their cushion to 10. It's now 17 to 7. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime.
So two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. First down, here's Minshew. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report. We got a fine first half out of the former Alabama man, Najee Harris. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. The second half, straight ahead. Time to get back to it. And for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. interesting first half we'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line the Raiders offense ready to get going again they'll have it first in this third quarter they find themselves down 17 to 7 as this drive starts first and 10 Minshew out of the pistol here. Oh, wide open. It's Adams. It's complete. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Here's Minshew now on first and ten. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it'll be second down. Throwing is Minshew. Throw over the middle, brought in by Adams. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Great pre-snap recognition here by the quarterback. He looks outside and sees man coverage, and he knows exactly where he's going to go with the ball. Now it's up to the receiver to create separation at the top of the route. Ball's on time, great placement, nice big pickup. Finding his tight end there. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. On second down, a run with right. And that should be enough. He works his way forward to pick up a first down. On first down, right back to White. A hit, and he has lost the football. Boy, that one hurts, Greg. They had a really nice drive going and moved it halfway down the field, but then fumbled down here in the red zone, and the defense comes up with a turnover. 
Anytime you put together a drive of this length, Mike, you just want to come away with points. Of course, a touchdown is the main goal, but in this case, to turn the ball over this deep in the red zone is just a brutal turn of events for this offense. Steelers offense ready for their first possession of this second half. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? turn they say the runner was down and that will not be a fumble we'll try again it's second and ten on the ground this is white and he will take this down close to a first down pickup of nine they've got him a yard short of the sticks and a yard. Back is Minshew. He's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. Feels like they needed that sack this entire drive. It feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to so to be able to take a deep breath now disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field on now daniel carlson to try the field goal It'll be a 35-yard attempt. He makes up for the earlier miss. This time, the kick is good. And the Raiders are back within a score. It's now 17-10. to 10. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Back out is Carlson following the made field goal. And he sends this kickoff away. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and quarterback Justin Fields make their way back out. And this defense has got to be at its wit's end trying to come up with a way to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go. And he's turned a number of those into big plays. Set to go now on first and ten. Here's Fields. A throw left side there, not going to find the time. Incomplete. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with the lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. This one, good by Austin. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Quarterback knew the blitz was coming. You could hear him pre-snap communicating with the guys up front, making sure everyone knew who they were responsible for, but sometimes it's just the perfect defensive call, and there weren't enough blockers to account for all the rushers. He had to get the ball out quick, and thankfully for him, he got it out just in the nick of time. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, 
Just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and we're able to convert. Austin brought in motion. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. He'll manage only a couple. Robert Spillane spills him there. quickly and here comes third down from the shotgun it's Fields oh and that throw not able to be pulled and it's incomplete looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there and it's going to bring up fourth down. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting the possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. First and ten. Fields. Good throw on target to Pickens. They come to the line now on second and two. Fields to throw. And penalty flags come in as it winds up incomplete, but no doubt there was contact there. The defense still arguing about that pass interference call, but their focus needs to be a stop. They face first and goal. On the handoff, it's Harris. And he will get into the end zone. Najee Harris, touchdown Steelers. Two touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. Boswell now for the extra point. Good. And the Steelers move out to a 24 to 10 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Abdullah now to return. To get this up to the 28 yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Raiders' offense make their way out to take over once more. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards any completions this has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush 
the quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. They'll start this on the ground. And here's Wade. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. At this point in the game, Mike, we just haven't seen a lot of fire out of this offense. Here's another run. Simple handoff. No gain. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Working out of the gun. It's Minshew. Over the middle. That's the tight end balance. And they'll work this close to a first down. Maybe just a tad short. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain. And in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. On third and a yard, it's Minshew. in the air there the pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown and it's really just a great route mike and then a beautiful throw the accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone Now Carlson to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Raiders back within seven. It's 24 to 17. Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Patterson now to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The visitors offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. continue to mine all day and you can see pre-snap the quarterback loved his matchup he allowed his receiver to work downfield perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points so they come to the line for first down and 10 on first and 10 it's Warren and the defense over this one they knock them down it'll go down as a loss of two every team makes an emphasis on winning first down but as a defense when you're able to take them back for a loss 
second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. <laughs> Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Third and nine. Back to throw is Fields. There's a short one caught by Friamy. And he's into the end zone. And Friar move. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. We all make such a big deal, Mike, when we see a quarterback go through his progression and deliver a deep downfield strike for a touchdown. But sometimes, just take what's easy, the easy pitch and catch, get an underneath completion. That's exactly what the quarterback does here takes what the defense gives them and when you have a playmaker like that on the outside they can do the rest with their feet after the catch and the end result is still a touchdown Boswell adds the extra point and the Steelers will extend this third quarter lead kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this taken at the five and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line there's Devontae Adams he and the rest of the Raider offense set for their next possession and you see the numbers for him into this third quarter they just pop off the screen he has been open and electric throughout. The drive starts with a run by Madison. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Minshew. They'll set up the screen to White. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. You don't need much. It is third and inches. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. And he's not going to get the first down. Met and brought down in the backfield on third and short. They do not get it done. So back and forth they go as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Raiders have their punt team out there. And he'll get something there on the return, able to take this back to the 20 yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Play action now for Fields. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. 
Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. That's over the middle and taken in by Fryermuth. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Loose. Those are the plays that just kill a defensive coordinator. You're about to force a punt, about to get the ball back to your offense. Give credit to the quarterback. He made a play when they needed it. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Now, Fields. There he goes again. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. We've seen this quarterback have some effective plays with his legs all game today, Mike. He knows when to stay in there and look to pass but he also knows when it's time to tuck it and go, and he's able to pick up good yardage there. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. They run it over center with Harris. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings him right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. Second down, it's Fields. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. I might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't, and now third down comes up. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. That's pulled in. Nagy Harris. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corral them, take them down short of the sticks. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Steelers will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Abdullah now to return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The home team's offense ready for this next possession. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. They put Adams in motion. Minshew now to throw on first and ten. Open man downfield, it is Adams. And they're going to have this all the way down 
inside the 30-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else, and I think both of those things were on display there, as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. taken down and this is a tricky part of the game for any defense you find yourself protecting a late lead and the age-old question is do you remain aggressive do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you that's what every defensive coordinator struggles with so they can't get too soft and he will score Zamir White touchdown Raiders well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Hmm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Carlson now for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Raiders are able to cut the deficit to 10. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Austin now to return this. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The Steelers' offense starting to try out for this next possession. They'll begin with first and 10. for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. Off the play action, here's Fields. A pass taken in by Harris. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take them down behind the line. We call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense, but not here. On this play, he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense, and he takes him down for a negative play. This defense in desperate need of a stop, and here comes third down. Steelers getting ready to put this one away as they try to play the field position game here protecting the fourth quarter lead. Oh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. The home team's offense and Gardner Minshew going to take over once again. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. Man in motion here is Tucker. Off the play fake, it's been shoot. Now he'll run. 
and they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. A quarterback who can extend the play with his legs, Mike, is just such a key element to today's modern offenses. You can see there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, but he decides to turn into a runner, picks up a great game, and ultimately a first down. In motion is Myers. Throwing on first and ten, it's Minshew. That's to the right side, and caught by Bowers. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. First and 10 now from the 36. From the gun, here's Minshew. We'll go right back to Bowers. He's got it again. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and... They were able to stop that play really before it got started. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. So the field goal makes it a one-score game here in the fourth quarter as they kick it away. Austin now to return this. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll do so with first and ten. And we saw it again here. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They'll come up here first and ten. On 
on the give, it's Harris. Now the flag comes in, it was thrown by the umpire. The pickup is four, but usually that's a holding penalty. And here comes Harris. Down the sideline. Inside the 25. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone. Out inside the 20. They get 21 on that one. Good for a Steeler first down. Give it to Harris again. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. Drop to throw. That is caught. And the Steelers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an eight. stress all week finishing a game get the ball and leave no doubt but that late touchdown Mike that should all but just seal this victory away on for the extra point is Boswell the kick is good and the Steelers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Abdullah now to return. And they will finally get him down and he gets all the way close to the 40-yard line. The Raiders offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And you get a look at the numbers, they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. They'll come up for first and ten. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those 
situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one dimensional this has to be a pass so what do they do they bring in extra defensive backs they clog up the back end and at the end of the day there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball under pressure and down he goes they got him the nfl sack leader for 2023 tj watt gets in there to bring him down Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst-case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter, with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And... Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. He's going to let one go, looking for Myers. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. He took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on down. So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down. But this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. No easy completions. And this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. Fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So this one, a win for the visiting Steelers. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did, and that was the difference in this one.